Okay, I have uh, done some previous videos on trying to figure out the problem with the ELT uh, mounts. The, you know, the way Cup Crafters uh, says to do it using their bracket to mount the antenna on the back, it just has never worked for me. I've always had problems uh, with getting an error message. Uh, this is where the bracket that they, they have that we mount, mount it to the back of the panel. The problem is if you're using a canod uh, ELT, which is gonna go here eventually. So I go ahead and route it and I plug it in and we hook it up and then we take this and we hook it to the arm position and then you can put it in the arm position. You'll see here, it'll have a long t beep and a red light for about 10 seconds. And then it does a self test. So it tests, uh, this is the GPS one long beep like that and light means everything tested good. If there's a problem, then it'll beep, like beep, 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 then it'll stop and beep, 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 beep. The common error I was getting on every airplane, I've done it seven times, and seven times I've had errors. And it's always been a problem with the antenna. And before, if you watched the previous videos I did, which I'm gonna delete since they're old, but if you saw them, the problem has always been the ground plane. And when you look at the way that Kanad says that you have to install an antenna is that the antenna is on this side of the ground plane and the antenna, the coax and the, and, and the coax and the connector have to be on the other side of the ground plane. So Cup Crafters has a bracket and you've, I'm gonna explain what you're seeing here with these copper strips in a minute. But this bracket right here, now they say mount it way up here, like 11 or 12 inches off of the top. Uh, if you do that, I, you know, you have to have somebody really skinny arms to ever be able to reach from the five inch hole down here all the way up to there. I don't know how you would, I've tried it. You know, I can get it up just about to my elbow and that's it. So maybe a skinny woman or something could maybe reach that far up and ever get to it. I don't know why it's that high, but in any case, Mount it down here lower so it's close enough to where you can put the five inch inspection cover down here and then reach up in there and disconnect it. But in any case, that's what the installation instructions uh, say is that these have to be on opposite sides. Now it's kind of funny when you install the coax and if you put the end connectors on, if you get it from cup crafters, one 90 degree end connector will be installed for this end and then it's routed up through here Long through here, long through here, and back out through here. I've got it covered up, ready to cover it now, but it goes down, comes back in, goes under the seat. I'll get this all out of the way later and take the slack out. Then you have to put this connector on. Well, before you ever connect it to the antenna, a good thing to do is just to do a continuity check. And what you do is you can take your uh, meter and you can put one of your probes on the outside of the antenna coax which is the ground so if you if you put one side just anywhere to the outside ring here and then the center one is the positive so one the outside one inside and it should not with the antenna disconnected it should not be continuity between the two obviously you got a ground and then you got a positive core in the middle same thing on the other end okay then what you can do is run continuity from this pin to the back pin. So you can do this on the bench before you stretch this out, but just pin to pin and you should have continuity. That means your connections that you made are all good and they're running, you know, it's, it's continuous power through there. Then you do the same thing for the outside. So ground to the ground on the other end. So now you know the cables are good. Now, now if you put, uh, you can do the same thing on the other end, put one, one of your ends of your uh, meter on the pin and one on the outside and it should not have continuity. However, once you hook an ELT antenna up to it, once you connect it to the antenna, if you wanna see what happens, go back then and check the continuity between the center pin and the outside, and it will have continuity. That's because it sends a signal down to the antenna. It goes through the antenna and comes back and it sends a signal back through there. So it ends up using both sides. So the ground plane is very important. Well, the problem was apparently that Cub Crafters method of using this bracket does not, and, and they're using this panel as the ground plane. 
That would work fine if you took this coax and put it on the other side and connected it on this side of the ground plane, which they don't. So that's where all the error messages were coming from. You're not gonna drill a hole here and have a cable coming up through here, okay? So in the past, I've taken pieces of aluminum and mounted and disregarded that totally, mounted this to a piece of aluminum, mounted it up here, had the antenna on one side, the coax and the connector on the back side so that the antenna was on the opposite side of the ground plane from the connector, okay? And uh, so when I got to actually looking at some of the instructions from Kanad, they say that on a fabric airplane, it's not mounted, so the antenna is not mounted on a hard piece of aluminum skin, for example, up here in the top or the tail or somewhere on aluminum. They say to use foil strips in a radial pattern. Okay, so actually what I did is I got this, this is copper, one inch copper tape. And it's made for that kind of a, a thing I got it on Amazon. And it actually has an adhesive back, back. So you can pull this off and it's sticky on the back. So then I just ran it, you can see I just kind of ran it across the bracket and then I cut a hole there and I let it keep coming up here and I stuck it to the back of this. So it's still using this for a ground plane, but I've got these strips running in front of the coax. Once you do that, it works perfectly, okay? If I put it on a separate piece of aluminum here as a separate ground plane, as long as you did like they say, and the antenna has gotta go on one side and the connector on the other side of the ground plane. So now these foil strips are acting as a ground plane. I put one strip up there and tested it and it worked fine, okay? Uh, so I just, but I just went ahead and put uh, basically a real small radial that way. They say it should be at least as long as the length of the antenna. So anyway, that's what the best thing I've come up with so far. And if you look in the instructions, that's kind of how they say to do it, is to put a radial pattern of uh, foil for the antenna on a fabric skinned airplane. So there's, there's what I did. So anyway, that it works now.